On day six, I started exploring a little bit more on the area behind our hotel. Last night, they'd had several bonfires on the street to celebrate the festival of St. John. There's a huge contrast in this area, poor homes and brightly colored homes. Most of the people in this area just walk to wherever they're going. A few of the main roads are paved with asphalt. In this poor community, you sometimes run across even deeper poverty. And there's trash pretty much everywhere. We've been told that Brazilians aren't taught to pick up after themselves. And showing the huge contrast between the rich and the poor, you have a rich home right next to a mud hut. As the sun gets higher, the community starts to come alive with people coming out onto their porches. The people here like to live outside. Their porches are almost half the size of their houses. Scattered among the poor homes are rich homes with their electric fences to keep people out and several small churches. Then it's back to the hotel and breakfast. You're getting that going now in the morning? Uh, a few drops, you wasted a few drops. Darlene's had two. Oh gosh. Darlene's had two Guadalajara? This morning. Wow, they're hitting I'm saying it makes you talk fast, but I don't believe it gives you any speed or anything like that. I think it's just a good drink. It's refreshing. It's got a little more flavor than water. <laughs> Then as we get ready to board the bus, we notice some large lizards. And it's off to the hunt for Caleb. I hope Chucky sees Caleb. Some of us had the dental work done early in the morning. To get free dental work. <laughs> With this female dentist. He smiled. I smiled at him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You they, just said, they said, ooh, we can't have nobody walk around like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I was very nice to her also. Oh, 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 yeah. Happy birthday to you. Since we've worked so hard today, we get an opportunity to go to the beach. We'll leave Parnaiba, go through Luis Cohea, on to Coconut Beach. Yeah, and mud maybe, but rock I'm pretty sure. It's probably a breakwater kind of thing here.
Here's Vic and James getting ready to go fishing. Oh. Caleb out there catching fish. See if we get them. Yep, we're getting some swimming around in there. See, they call boxer puffer fish. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. We find out that Vic will eat just about anything, even a dead fish picked up off the beach. Which mango seeds are about this long? Coconut beach. Here's the fishermen, they're catching more than Vic. As we get ready to eat, Vic demonstrates the puffer fish that smiled at Glenda. While we eat, we'll be watching the game Brazil vs. Portugal in the World Cup. Then it's time to go our separate ways. Some of us will go with Vic to see the place we were originally supposed to build a church and to see the recovery center. Others will board the bus and go to Lake Pochino where we'll all gather together. <laughs> nice guys. <laughs> the site originally <laughs> going to build the church home and is now, basically a since sand dune. We're not going to build over here. We're going to try to get our piece of property back, you know. Yes, this all used to be uh, just a fishing village in about 1980. 86 and everything and they've they've come in and all the rich people bought up the property from the from the fishermen the fishermen are moving further and further away from the beach yeah. are, are they giving them a fair price at least well i don't know i don't know how much they get they're getting for it you know but well, it depends on what you mean fair price you know if you consider this is becoming better and better built, you know, better property. Yeah. But then buying a fisherman's hut is not a huge deal, yeah. but the land underneath is just what they Oh, they were supposed to have a community. They were going to build a community here with over a hundred uh, houses like this. And then, okay. The Johnston Baptist Association. Yeah. Center for the Restoration of Life. Os americanos aqui, a nossa comunidade. Eu tô pintando ali uma madeira para fazer uma praga, para pular na horta. É, é uma there they raise so their own crops for eating and also have fish ponds where they catch fish. Do they normally dry before they cook them or is that just a... This is a residence center for drug and alcohol addicted persons to get their lives back together again. I built the first half and then the uh, thankful church built the second half. At Lake Porcino, the big thing is climbing the sand dune, even if there isn't no trespass sign.
almost everybody took up the challenge to climb. And of course, if you go up, you gotta come down, and that's half the fun oh also. God, go. Where's the go? Alright, guys. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa, the sand's hot down here. It's hotter. No! <laughs> I want to see one of them wrong. The view of the lake from the top of the sand dune is very impressive, and yes, there are fish here, and you can go fishing, and like most freshwater lakes, there are piranha here, too. Maybe that's why the fishermen are having to mend their nets. Then back at the hotel, it's time for a dip in the pool before heading off to the dedication service. As we hit the dedication service, Manu, Lina, and Lita join us again for the last time. As we came to dedication service, some of us were afraid to lean against the walls. This will only be snippets of the service. The full service that we have on video is on disc two of this set. You can watch it there. As we gathered inside, others were gathering outside also to watch. They do their seating the smart way. They set up all the chairs in the back and then when people are filled those, they start moving chairs down front so they get closer and closer and eventually even bring in pews to sit down front. Outside, the crowd continues to grow throughout the service. And I hope I speak for all the mission team members. Eu espero que eu falo para todos os membros da equipe. That the joy and satisfaction that we had from day one grew every day that we worked on your church. Que a alegria, a satisfação que começou no primeiro dia aqui aumentou cada dia mais que nós ficamos aqui trabalhando na sua igreja. But the emotion that we're experiencing tonight. Mas a emoção que nós estamos sentindo nesta noite. Não compara com mais nada na minha vida. É um presente uh, do condado em Mississippi, onde a maioria dos membros daqui come, A razão que eu decidi vir was because I felt like I needed to do more for the Lord. O que eu senti que eu deveria fazer mais para o nosso Deus. And I knew uh, this trip has totally changed the way I look at everything. I mean, essa viagem tem tudo criado por nós. Pastor Mashad had a very touching story about how God changed his life from sin to salvation. You might want to listen to that on the full video. O plano é em outro lugar. O primeiro plano é em outro lugar. This woman got saved during the service, and this blurry picture is the only picture we have of the full congregation of Bon Principio Baptist Church, all 18 members. And it was time to say goodbye to Bon Principio and head to the hotel.